while ago, I was fortunate to come across some wild caught specimens of a super rare African cichlid. And I am very happy with how these fish have developed and what they look like now that they're mature. So today I'm going to share an update with you guys. We're going to take a closer look at this beautiful and unique African cichlid, the Stigmata chromis woody. Let's go check it out. The Stigmata chromis woody is a very rare fish. You're not going to find this at your local fish stores. And even your high-end online sellers aren't going to have it. To get these species, you would probably have to submit a request to a very specialized African cichlid importer and just wait for some to become available uh, from wild-caught imports. I purchased these specimens at the rare fish auction held in Chicago and they just happen to have been brought in recently and uh, put up for auction. Uh, they're imported only very occasionally. And it's one of those species where I'm not entirely sure why it's uncommon, because it's a beautiful specimen. It might be the fact that these fish do take a while to color up. This is a patient man's fish. Like many haplochromines, they don't mature very quickly. You get some African cichlids like your Mbuna that are colorful almost from the get-go, and your peacocks that color up within a year or so of being born. These fish, these haplochromines, these take a while. But even so, it's still a very attractive aquarium fish, so I wish it becomes much more popular in the hobby. It's also part of a genus that many people don't keep at all any specimens from. The most common Stigmatochromus species that you're likely familiar with, if, if any, would be the Stigmatochromus modestus. That is the fish that, uh, of this species that is red. It's a, it's a very pretty red color. There's another one known as the Stigmatochromus melancros. It used to be known as the Stigmatochromus tole. And that is a dark green to dark uh, bruised blue color fish. Uh, they're all very, very attractive aquarium fish, uh, but this woody, it, I think it's the, the prettiest of them all, honestly. Now, to be fair, this male right now is the dominant male in the tank, and when you see him at his most, at his most vibrant, he is displaying breeding colors. Uh, but that's true with pretty much any African cichlid. They're going to look their best when they're breeding. Uh, but right now is a, is a good shot that's representative of him uh, in a day-to-day -day coloration. And even then, I think it's a very colorful fish. Now, lighting can be important with this species. I have reasonably strong lights on this tank to bring out the hues of violet and indigo uh, that make up this uh, fish's base color. If you have uh, weak to moderate lights, they can appear a darker blue, which again is still a very attractive specimen. Uh, but it, it kind of just depends on your preference of lighting and what you have to work with. And speaking of equipment, let's go ahead and cover off how I'm keeping these fish. That way, if you ever see them for sale and decide to purchase them, you can know what you need as well. So I have my Stigmatochromus woody in a 125 gallon at the moment. This is just a breeding setup though. I have one male and three females. I usually keep them with the rest of the specimens I have of the species in my 600 gallon African cichlid aquarium. Now you don't need a tank that big, uh, but you do need a 125 minimum. You can keep them in smaller tanks as they grow. Even uh, a 75 would do them pretty well for a long time. But eventually even a 75 would be too small for these fish. Uh, the males grow up to eight, even nine inches and the females get about six to seven inches and they're pretty active swimming back and forth. So they, they do require a large aquarium. Uh, as far as water parameters, uh, we keep ours right around 77 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit for temperature. Uh, we keep, you know, obviously clean water um, and it's pretty hard with a high pH. Uh, that's just the way our water is, but it is very conducive to what these fish naturally prefer. And since most specimens of this species if you were to ever see them for sale, would be wild caught. Uh, in that situation, it, it is pretty important to match what their wild conditions are. 
So while I normally say fish are adaptable and you know a hard water fish like this could be put in soft water, uh, that, that doesn't quite apply in wild caught situations. So just something to, to be mindful of. And on a side note, if you are interested in this species, uh, the best place to look if you're, if you're wanting to buy them, the best place to try would be Dave's Rare Aquarium Fish. Uh, he doesn't keep them regularly, but he would be the guy to go to uh, with any requests for, for very uncommon high-end African cichlids. And that's a good segue into possible tank mates for this fish. Uh, with any Malawian haplochromine, you're going to be kind of limited to other African cichlids of similar size and aggression levels. That's just kind of how it goes with these fish. Uh, or you could even keep them alone like we're doing in this tank. Uh, they, they look great in a species-only setup. But whether you keep them in an African community or species-only tank, just be sure to give them sufficient rockscape with some caves or line of sight breakages to, to let the fish um, have a, a retreat if they ever need to from other more aggressive uh, individuals with them. Um, you know, and outside of that, just give them good clean water, a good varied diet of various foods. They readily take most pellet and flake foods, uh, though when they get bigger, you're going to want to shift just to pellets. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're, they're a pretty easy fish to take care of overall. Uh, assuming you can find them, I highly recommend you consider purchasing this fish, uh, keeping a tank with this species in it. Uh, I, I so hope that they become more popular. And if any of you ever see them for sale anywhere, please uh, circle back to this video and let me know in the comments. I would be highly interested in procuring more specimens for myself. Uh, so that's about all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing and learning about this very unique Malawian cichlid. Uh, take it easy, everyone. I'll see you next time.